guys, it is Janine. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you guys today about why you are not losing weight on the keto diet. You think you're doing everything right, you're having high ketones, what is up with not losing weight? I have seen this a lot lately and I really feel like this is a topic that I need to cover. Um, unfortunately, with keto becoming so mainstream, and it blowing up all over Instagram in terms of lots of food bloggers posting, you know, these extravagant keto dishes and just um, lots of information out there about keto. What I find the biggest reason why people are not losing weight on keto is because they're over consuming calories. I know, I know, I know, okay? This is a great debate. Do calories matter? And I am here to tell you guys, they absolutely do matter. It is a proven scientific fact that you must burn more than you consume in order to lose weight. Now, that being said, um, you can get away, I'm sorry, my lash is like in my eye. You can get away with um, eating more calories on the ketogenic diet. Studies have shown that a diet high in protein and fat and low in carbs um, cause your body, it takes more energy to digest that type of diet. Therefore, you have an increased calorie burn with the proper foods. So can you get away with more calories? Potentially, yes. Um, but that does not mean that calories don't matter. And and the, the reason why that messaging really um, bothers me is that it's a slippery, slippery slope. I can't talk right now. Um, and it's a dangerous message to give somebody that, um, especially if they are coming to somebody for help and they have issues with food or they have a significant amount of weight to lose, um, the message that, that they can eat as much as they want as long as it's keto, what that does is it um, sends people the message that they can search all these indulgent recipes all over Instagram and you know, eat tons of bacon and lots of butter and just eat to their heart's content and they're gonna lose weight. And what happens is sometimes, especially depending on what somebody's um, situation was coming into keto, they're gonna lose weight initially just because they've changed up the type of food they're eating. Um, they are not eating the carbohydrates, so they're going to lose that water weight, which is pretty significant for some, especially if um, they were retaining a lot of water. So they're going to get real excited to see that initial weight loss. Um, and then, depending on what their habits were, even just stopping the soda and dropping regular sugar and all of that, it's going to be impactful initially on their weight. But um, at some point in time, they're, you're going to hit a wall and you're gonna hit a wall because you are just simply consuming um, too much food. Um, you do need to consume less calories than you are burning in order to lose weight. So it's really important for you to find out what that threshold is because for everybody it's different and there's a lot of factors that go into it and I don't recommend using an automated calculator to figure that out. Um, you can either do a little research yourself on your own body and do some experimentation with different macros, use a Fitbit to determine like what your energy expenditure is every day, um, and then play around with what you eat and then see how your body responds. Or you can hire a professional. Um, that is something that I help my clients with. I'm not doing this video to try to acquire clients. I'm just doing this because I see an increasing problem with um, people that are on the keto diet and they expect to continue to lose all of this weight as long as they have high ketones. And I'm here to tell you, ketones do not equal weight loss. Um, ketones just indicate that your body is producing ketones, which can be used as energy. But think about this, if you are taking in, if you're in ketosis and your body is accustomed to using ketones for energy and fats, are turned into ketones, but you're taking in a lot of dietary fat, your body is gonna convert that dietary fat into ketones before it dips into that stored body fat. So 
That is another thing to keep in mind as well. You do not want to chase high levels of ketones. It's not necessary. You just need to be in a state of ketosis, number one. Number two, you wanna get yourself to a place where you are fat adapted. Um, what that means is that you have successfully been depleting your body of carbohydrates and providing it fats and you've trained your body now to use fats as fuel instead of carbohydrates. This happens over time. Um, if you've gone, you know, two, four, six, 10, 12 weeks, it depends on the person um, depleting your carbohydrates, your body has no other alternative than to figure out how to use fats as fuel because it needs to survive. So once it does that, you're considered fat adapted. It means that your cells have actually made changes on the cellular level to adequately and efficiently use fats as fuel. So you need to be in ketosis, you need to be fat adapted, and number three, you need to be consuming at a deficit for weight loss, meaning you want to take in less calories than you are burning every day. And another important thing to keep in mind is that often gets um, causes an issue is people don't realize when you replace carbohydrates with fats, you are decreasing visually the volume of your food because fats are very um, dense calorically. They have a lot of calories, nine calories per gram versus carbohydrates, only four calories per gram. So I can eat a huge plate of rice that's only gonna be like 250 calories, or you can eat two tablespoons of butter. This is gonna be 200 calories. See, see the difference there? And I think that if you're used to seeing larger portions or seeing those larger portions, when you see the, you know, the caloric deficit, you see those portions shrink a lot, you're just, you're mentally gonna think, am I not getting enough food when you are getting a lot of calories. So that's another thing to keep in mind is that volume wise, it's going to look like smaller portions, but you're actually getting an adequate amount of calories because fats have more calories. So um, just wanted to like touch base on that topic. I could go on and on about it. Feel free to, um, I'll put my contact information in the description box down below. If you have any questions, feel free to um, email me, or if you're interested in any of my programs or me taking a look at what you're currently doing um, to know if you're consuming the right calories or if you're struggling with weight loss on keto, I can definitely help you. I specialize in keto specifically for weight loss and long-term sustainability. Um, routines and patterns and ways to lose weight and keep it off, stop the yo-yo dieting, just overall adopting a healthy lifestyle with balance, not super restrictive, something that you can stick to long term, but um, just to give you a better picture of what you should really be doing. So I just wanted to touch base on that a little bit. I hope I don't get some backlash. I feel like there is... Um, a community out there that's really big on, on the you know calling it sicko it's not about calories in calories out um, that's not exactly what I'm saying because the type of food you eat does matter the volume you eat does matter there's many factors involved it's not one thing or another it's just I just wanted to put out there that my message is that um, the volume of food you do eat does directly impact your weight and it's important to know that and it's important to know that you can overeat keto foods and gain weight. So um, if you're struggling on keto, not losing weight or, or at a, a hard stall, like you lost weight initially and you're, um, you have stopped seeing progress or even worse, started gaining weight, then you need to take a closer look at your volume. Um, all right, I will stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of my subscribers. Please like this video if you like what you hear and comment below. It really does help me get in good with the people at YouTube. I am trying to spend devote a lot more time to um, my uh, YouTube channel. And so in order to do that, I need to grow the channel. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again next time.